we thought we'll spice up the NBA with some new rules. So huh. I've got a couple of like not couple. I've got like four or five rules. Oh wait, you we were supposed to make new rules. Yeah. I thought there were some new rules that we had to talk about. There are like, no there are no new rules. rules. I was like, KK, Rikas, there is new rules. Is yeah, so you have no new rules with you? I have no. I, I will be the... Uh, sounding board. Be the sounding board for my yes, yes. New, new rules. Okay, all right. There are some very, very interesting rules. Okay. okay. So first off, we'll start off with addressing this injury uh, debacle that is going on in the NBA. So all teams will only play 58 games. They play one game against the other team at home, one game against them at, I mean, away. Hmm. Just like the Premier League. Correct. 29 into 2, 58 games. That's it. That's all you play. And the top teams, uh, top eight teams go to the, yeah, I mean, that, uh, that much I've not thought. I've only talked about the 58. But still sort of eight teams, 16 teams will make it to the playoffs. Okay, we get it. Teams. Okay, 58 games. Huh? Next. <laughs> My God. Next is a four point line in the NBA. Okay. So, Greg Popovich, who at one point in time used to hate the three-point line, because it's like this is some circus shooting, there is no uh, basketball, this is not basketball, this is just like you're just shooting like a clown, which is true, it has come true to fruition in the past uh, like 10 years. He suggested that let's just add a four-point line, so I stole this one from him, but don't tell me. So, my idea is four-point line from the half court, anything from behind the half court. Even if your foot is on the line, it's still a four point uh, shot. As long as it is you know, not in the front court. And no more corner threes. Corner threes will be taken out. Corner threes are too simple. So it'll be like straight uh, lines. What is it called? Not straight line. It'll be like a curve, but it'll not like go into the corner and get reduced at the corner. It'll just go into the edges of the court. If you take a short attempt and you make it without dribbling the ball, as in from your back court to the front court, as in once you get possession, no dribbling, just keep passing the ball and you may make a shot, you get one additional point. Oh, nice. If you pass, the ball doesn't touch the floor and you score. If it's a two-point shot, you get three points. If it's a three-point shot, you get four points. Then if you get a technical foul, your team plays without you for 30 seconds on the game clock. So it's like a four on five for 30 seconds. No free throws, no nothing. 30 seconds, four on five. It's a rule seconds. from That's hockey. a lot of time in basketball. Yeah, yeah. So don't get a technical there. <laughs> okay. So this I've stolen from the ice hockey. In ice hockey, I think if you get a penalty or something, you get put into the uh, player's yeah. chamber. And then your team, it's called a power play or something like that. Where it's like a, a disadvantage is there, which exists. Those are your new rules. Those are my new rules. <laughs> I think that I, I personally don't like this four point, five point line thing. I feel like three points is mm. enough. You know, yeah, three mm. points get easier, but then if you ma- it's it just becomes then it's more of a circus. Mm. Uh this much circus you can sort of handle in one way. Uh because it's closer to the basket, you can do a little bit more defense. But if you start giving them like four or five points from there, you know, then kaha defense over could be it will be total circus. So I, I feel like I, I would never do that. 4.5. Never do 4.5. Okay. Even if the 3 point become easier, it's fine. You know, it's not like people are shooting like 60%. So they're still like, they're still between what, 41, 42%. Uh, shooting, oh, you, you mean shooting three percentage, points. efficiency. I mean, uh, accuracy. Yeah. That's right. Like the okay. best person, Steph, is at 44 or 43%. 43. Yeah. Something. So, okay. It's not that that much of a disadvantage. Um, then I liked, I I think my favorite rule was the no dribble extra point. I think that's really cool. Because I think it'll, it'll give up, it'll give for like cool plays, you know. But yeah, I think that's a cool, there'll be some clue, cool plays. Cool plays, yeah. absolutely. I mean, the yes. coolest plays are when it just goes like fast break, one, two, three, and then yeah. open, boom, Technical fall, four yes, and five. 30 seconds is too much uh, in a basketball game. I would mm. I would say maybe 15, 10 to 15 seconds, not more than that. 10 to 15 seconds is not even like one shot. Then, yeah, 30 seconds is... Or maybe much. one shot, like, like 24 seconds. 30 seconds is how much uh, was uh, there on the shot clock when this first lost to the Miami Heat. 
30 seconds is too much on I, yeah but then don't get a technical foul and the third, it's not like you it's not like a personal foul or technical foul means you're yeah, going and, I feel like and shouting and all that there's no i just no i think it's too much advantage for a technical foul Ah, that's the whole it's point. Too much of an advantage. Like it's a technical you're giving, foul. Is not like you're giving uh, free throw and possession back to a team on technical foul. So this is just like that. Yeah, but one point is different than thirty seconds. Thirty but seconds. But one point and score. possession. So if you have T Mac on your team, you can score nineteen points. But if you have Rashid Wallace, then you are uh, gone. <laughs> yeah, you're gone. You there. are gone. So my, my yeah, no, I, no. I feel. I feel my point is that you are thinking about a technical foul at the. Fourth quarter, uh, two minutes left, and then yeah, that's where it counts, right? Everything else is kind of useless. Eh? But then the you, nobody, nobody usually gets a technical foul at those times, right? Like most people don't get a technical foul at at the closing end of the game because that's that's what you're doing is just as bad because you're going to give possession back to the team and give them a free throw which anybody can take. So in a sense, it is still a bad play to make. No, I think no, I feel no. That's okay. We will ask the audience about these. Uh, See, what was the other stories. one? Corner like the three no no corner, corner three. threes anymore. Anyway. No, I think it's fine. What well, I'm not okay. no no problem with the corner threes. Um, I feel a new rule they should get back in is hand checking. An old rule bring back, back hand checking. Bring back hand checking. Hmm. Like give the defense something. You know? I I I I think that they should bring the defense like remove the defensive three seconds from uh, NBA. But then it'll become like a really like sort of yeah, a FIBA sort of rule. Then it'll be like uh, uh, there'll be uh, back to the Spurs uh, Pistons sort of finals and all. Score will be yeah. like eighty. Hand checking is uh, needed because now the guards are so fast, so dominant. Like you so can't do anything. Chuck, 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 you just, just yeah. start praying. If I had to come up with a new rule, I know this is like a tough one, but I would add. I would take off goaltending. Uh, maybe in India because people are not that tall to reach. Tall. But in the US, I think they'll easily like, oh, oh, I don't think so. Yeah, but I feel it looks cool. I feel like when a person snatches the ball from there, it just looks so cool. I was one of the things that. But I, then you can do that to a three-point shot, a three-point shot, Stephen. Yeah, just so that's can't. that's that's the beauty of it. That's what I feel. Oh. I feel it kind of neutralizes the three-point shot. And also like sort of like think, floaters and all that stuff. Man, you you, you called my uh, four on five idea bad, and you're giving this kind of shitty idea. It's not shit. Actually, how I came up with this is I was looking uh-huh. at Dwight Howard highlights, uh-huh. and Dwight Howard used to just jump up and like just hold, just like bring the ball. It's like ah, that that it just looks like a big man move, you know? It's like ah, yeah. give it to me. 